Gregory again. Zelda has promised to try and set up, with the help of our crack Channel 32 engineering crew, a satellite phone call between me and President Nixon on his Red China trip. How you doing, Zelda? Well, uh, I've been trying to dial China, but I keep getting a Wong number. A Get Wong. it, Wong? A Wong? <laughs> Get out and wait in the hall. A Wong. Get the humor there. See, it's a common name in that country. Svengoli and the entire crack Channel 32 crew would like to be the first to wish you all a happy George Washington's birthday. Right, fellas? Huh? Happy birthday, Abraham oh, Lincoln. Oh, the wrong fella. Forget it. All right, cool it. Never mind. By the way, an interesting fact about George. Uh, did you know that George Washington was born on a legal holiday? Huh? So much for you. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's scare mail time again. Hit me with the mailbag. Horace, oh, holy mackerel there. Let's see. That's a little late with the sound effect, but <laughs> nice try. Anyway... Ah, uh, Jimmy Baby there. Oh, let's see what... By the way, don't you forget your scare mail, your songs, your jokes, your poems. Got this week's blackmail letter. I ah, get it. Every week the joke bombs. From Monica Marco in Barrington. I said she was 37 years old last week. And she hollered at me. I'm uh, uh, sorry, you're 37 there. She sent a joke. You ready? What monster works at the drive-in? Boris Karhoff. <laughs> Isn't that bad? Hello to Frederick Jones and his kids in Schomburg. By the way, I'll be at Turnstile in Schomburg at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Nice tie-in, huh? My first live appearance. Thank you for the nice No, Schomburg. That's tomorrow. It will be in Arlington Heights at the Turnstile store at 10 in the morning, live with my entire body. Hello to all the kids at Glenside Junior High and Glendale Heights, except Mr. Sweeney's science... Uh, I say, I say... Uh, including Mr. Sweeney's science class. Okay, Mr. Sweeney, by the way, is a very weird guy, kids. Anybody whose father is an announcer, weird, weird. Oh, okay, strange. Sharon and Michael Tomek on 49th place. Hello to you. Hello to all the guys at St. Ignatius College Prep who sent me a petition demanding me put the sound effects back in the movie. Hello! Hello! Hello, Hello. Hello, Hello. fellas. Happy Valentine's Day. A little late on that one there. Hello to Mrs. Welch and Laurie Welch's party in Woodridge. And finally, hello to little Mike Lewandowski. Guess where Mike Lewandowski lives. Just take a guess. Erwin! 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 Wrong. Cicero. Missed it by that much. <laughs> His mother wants me to make a personal appearance in uh, Berwin. Uh, crew, what do you think? You think that would be... Erwin! Uh, no, not even Berwin. Anyway, do send your jokes, your songs, your poems, all this stuff to me at this address, please, and do mark your mail, scare mail, if you please, and get it in the mail right now. Okay, ladies and yeah. gentlemen, good. Now, before a plethora of commercial messages and the conclusion of our SYT flick number one, Valley of the Zombies, one of the guys in our crack Channel 32 crew, Dandy Don Kimmel over there, uh, is going to lead us all in a few calisthenics if we can wake him up. Uh, Don, what's the exercise for tonight? Don? All right, all right, here we go. Let's do the count up to ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fine. What was that? That was the exercise for your tongue. Exercise for the tongue. Get out of here. All the commercial. What is the dumbest thing I ever heard? El Parity. Tonight's screaming yellow flick number one, Valley of the Zombies. Starring Rudy Valley as the valley with Valentin Janicki and the sanitary district as the... Uh, never mind. Don't forget. More singly songs and tumulting coming up. And our second flick... The Neanderthal Man or the Larry Lujek story. And now, <laughs> funny, huh? With Chet Common. Uh, Good night, Chet. Good night, David. Here's Dick Brandell of our Crack Channel 32 Engineering Department with a brief commercial message. Dick? Get the best food in town at Don's Drive-In. Actually, the food isn't very good, but it's the best in town. Okay. Uh, roll the whatever and don't go away and we'll be right back. Say, Zelda, is, is there room for a song, or are we too late for it? A... No, honey, uh, you go ahead. By, by the way, you know, I dropped my watch in the Chicago River last summer, and it's still running. The watch? No, the river. Oh, oh this gotcha. joke. Get ready, boys. Uh, give me a beat. Bang, 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 bang. Good. I've been hearing you've been screaming that I treat you bad. Bad. That kind of talk don't help your cause, it only makes me mad. So when I catch you, I just hope that I can pay you back. Stretched out in that dungeon room and tied upon a rack. 
Counting spiders on the wall, they don't bother me at all. Playing tic-tac on your feet with an iron full of heat. Smoking cigarettes and putting out their stubs on you. Don't, worry, don't tell me, I have nothing to do. do. Well, how'd you like the song? Huh? Well, you win a few and you lose a few. Mystery coffin opener and two great flicks. Movie number four next week, David Cassidy and his father hop along with Valentine Janicki as George Julius Hoffman in the tense courtroom drama Gidget Sues Dick Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Never mind. Also, <laughs> flick number two next week, a special documentary on the president's visit to mainland China called A Half Hour Later, He'll Want to Go Back. He had the human... <laughs> uh, okay. 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 Now... Tonight's closing meditation from Channel 32's own ace engineer, Willie Stocksell. Willie, uh, would you wake up, Willie? Willie, do the thought. Willie? Give me a fine day. Yes, Willie. The lovely golf course. Sure. And a sexy blonde. Mm -hmm. And you can keep your fine day. Yes. <laughs> and your lovely golf course. Right, thank you very much, Willie. One more reminder. Sven Gulli's first live appearance today. I'll be seeing you at 10 a.m. this morning at Turnstile in Arlington Heights. Not on the card, I'm not leaving. And at 2 p.m. at Turnstile in Schomburg, free autograph pictures, and you can say hello and uh, I'll sign your face or whatever. And now, kids, brush your face, comb your face, drink your milk before it clots and bites. Mama, good night. Here's tonight. Bedtime. Oh. There's one little town about which I jest. But I'm sure you all know that I think it's the best. Still, I thought I would visit, make myself perfectly clear. So if I ever passed through, I'd have nothing to fear. So I got on the Eisenhower and followed my nose. But it was 9.15 when I got there and Berwin was closed. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you later. And good night. Time has come by your union mouse for scary things, like monsters, ghosts, and vampire wings, like 
horrible movies, all drippy and drooly, and horrible jokes, like me, Svengooly. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you recognize them already. How about another warm welcome for tonight's screaming yellow theater guest coffin openers from Disney on Parade, opening April the 18th at the Amphitheater here in Chicago. Let's welcome Mickey Mouse, Snow White, and of course, <laughs> your nose is a little slow. <laughs> Work on that, get back on the paper. <laughs> of course, Pluto, you wanna try it again, Pluto? Pluto! Well, get out of here. <laughs> and now, Snow White, his nose will be okay. A little penicillin. Would you introduce tonight's feature, Snow, please? Now, Sven Gulli presents feature number one on tonight's Screaming Yellow Theater double bill, Doc Sneezy, Happy, Grumpy, Dopey, Bashful, and Sleepy in Seven Brides for Seven Dwarfs. Seven Brides for Seven Dwarfs. All the movie will be right back. That was wonderful. I did. There's more Sanguli coming up, so don't chicken out. It was about in, oh, I reckon 1898. I cooked my first chicken. Who cares? <laughs> Here, Zelda. Zelda. Yeah, yeah, Sven Dooley, yes. honey. What is it you want, baby? Well, what happened to the canary, Zelda? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it was there this morning when I vacuumed the cage. And you vacuumed <laughs> the cage. Get out of here, that thing there. All right, listen. Welcome back to Screaming Yellow Theater on 32. Sven Dooley here with the program that asks the question, why is this night different from all other nights? <laughs> okay.